My name is John Nutt, and I'm the number one promoter on the planet. Is that not correct, Bob? That is a fact. And you want to know why? Please tell me. Because I make magic happen. Because I make magic happen. This is completely live. This is completely not a joke. This is not fake. And in all the years that I've been doing fight shows, nothing like this has ever happened to me. Okay, so for those of you joining us around the globe, the billions and billions of people joining us around the globe, what happened this morning is an unprecedented event. Last night, we had the weigh-ins. They were a fantastic time, correct, Bob? That's fact, that's fact. Everybody was going buck wild here in Phuket. So a lot of people here haven't gotten sleep. The other thing, though, that happened is that we had a major car accident happen. The ring that the car was in turned over last night somewhere outside of Rayon. Silver lining, silver lining. Although the ring did not make it on time so that there is a delay to our show, nobody died. But what it did do to us is it made a rather little delay. Behind the cameraman is the actual ring getting set up. So, uh, little people, thank you. Hulk, Hulk, thank you very much. These guys are called my confidence booster. Rock, how you doing today? Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Apparently the guys with the ring hit a water buffalo or something, so. The reason why you're not seeing Fight Circus, the reason why you're not seeing the pageantry, the greatest show on earth, is because the ring was spilt all over beautiful, beautiful Phuket. And let's show you, come on. All right, let me, let me take over. Dina, 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 Dina. You've got just like no vocals. So yeah, this is MMA's first ever rain delay. And it's, it's coming along, but one one hour. You have no idea how many other crew are getting into their costumes and stuff. So definitely don't go anywhere. This is going to be a show unlike any of the ones even we've put on. These are the Indian leg wrestlers behind me. I don't know if they're in the shot. I can't see. But. Indian leg wrestlers. Uh, she got an ass that can swallow up a G string. And up top, what two bee stings? So beautiful. Yeah, it's insane. Shout out to Yay! Shout out to Yay! If you're, if you're familiar with Fight Circus, then you're familiar with Tang. But I heard you ate a healthy breakfast this morning. My breakfast is, was ice cream. I eat breakfast for I eat ice cream for breakfast and drink beer for the lunch. And dinner is water. Yeah, oh. What were you drinking last night? It was this like gasoline. Yeah, it is like gasoline. It smells like gasoline, but this is Thai water. You gotta kick my ass. I gotta kick his ass. We gotta kick his ass each other. I'm kicking his. I'm kicking his one. I, I'm kicking his one. He kicks me one. I get gonna, gonna get fun for the fights to come tonight. See you tonight, people. America, Thailand. See you tonight. Thank you very much, Shangma. A full metal dojo, lovely ladies of Fight Circus. Look at them here, looking lovely. Wombat Jones! Well, coming from a guy that literally just gave his scooter back because he nearly killed himself on it, I can understand that the roads around Rawai and Phuket are a little bit treacherous, so we really do apologise for the delay, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. It's really going to... You know what I'm really looking forward to, mate? One of the sofas that will be going into the, uh, into the ring for the first fight of the evening. Our uh, producers is just about to load up Fight Circus 1, but I'll go through the, uh, the good old days when things popped off on time. But yeah, uh, we were going we to stuff a wombat here who's joining us from down under. This is for, he's been associated with us for a good time, but this is the first time we're hopping him on mic, getting him on cam, and this is, this is not part of the rain delay fuck up. Like, wombat is here on purpose. I'm not really that stressed out about the show. I know that the show is going to be fucking awesome. The fights are going to be awesome, all right? The only worry that I have is that we're going to be moving the show very, very fast. And yes, we are watching those comments coming in. You guys are giving us a little bit of a shellacking. We understand it. We get it. None of us want to be at this moment right now. This is where we are. I eat stress like I can drink it like hollandaise sauce. I eat stress like a fine tiramisu that flares up my gout. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I am is... filled with gout. I am gout fucking ridden. There is no reason I should be fighting on this card. We are on the comfy couch. We are not ringside. That's not a ring behind me. The ring is over there. They're still getting it done. I think they're getting the tarp on it right now. It's a shit show. It is. We're getting through it though. Luke Welling looks great. So for all of you joining us around the globe on Fight TV, 
or however you're pirating us, because I know you Russians and Polish people are out there, and you're just ripping the crap out of this right now. And you're going to watch what I do, and you're going to rip me off some more. You're going to copy what I do. Yeah. If you're just joining right now, Go ahead. we are putting the final touches on getting the full setup going, and we're going to try and crank you through a three-hour show in two and a half hours. It's coming up soon. You don't want to miss it. The card's available online. We'll put out an announcement on our socials when we're about to go live, which is right around the corner, so don't go anywhere. Five minutes away, at least five minute countdown. Fight Circus 4, number one fights in the world. This is the greatest show on earth with the greatest showman, John Knight. I'm Teddy Mobe. This is Luke Welling. Get the lawyers, get the guns, get the money. We are about to blow your shit out the window. I'm Rose Gracie. I've been caring for fighters my whole life. I fully understand that part of caring starts with education and informed choices. Here are the brain health basics you should know before sparring or fighting. Concussions are diagnosed based on symptoms after experiencing brain injuries. Symptoms include headaches, loss of balance, and light sensitivity. Concussion may be caused by direct blow to the head, face, neck, or anywhere else on the body. These blows can create a violent ripple effect to the head. Repeated hits to the head, even without concussions, are linked to the incurable disease, CTE. You can have a CTE without even knowing it. Possible symptoms for CTE are depression and anxiety. CTE also can cause aggression and suicidal thoughts. As fighters, we take way more damage in training than we do in an actual fight. Our tools like headgear and gloves, these do not protect us from CTE. So as an athlete, as a fighter, it's our job to minimize the amount of shots that we take in training. The only way we can minimize the damage is by changing the way we train. It's important to minimize hits to the head to minimize the risk. There are safe ways to return to training after a concussion. Refer to the Association of Ringside Physicians website for more information. Just pray with me for a moment. Give me a little prayer. Okay? Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Use this. Don't use it. Lord and baby Jesus, please uh, bless this show. This show has had so many fuck-ups already. I can't believe it. Lord and baby Jesus, baby Buddha, baby Alan, please make sure that none of my fighters today in this fucking ring get too badly injured. You can break an orbital, you can break a nose, break a finger, I don't give a fuck. But do not have any of my fighters get too badly injured. And Lord and baby Jesus, please make sure that one of my fighters goes in the ring tonight and steps on the other fucking opponent's throat and crushes his goddamn larynx because that's what it takes to be a fucking winner. And Fight Circus doesn't have any goddamn losers. There are no fucking losers in this dojo. There are only winners. And you're not going to go home and fuck the ring girl tonight unless you become a goddamn champion. So everybody, do the fucking best thing you can do. This is Fight Circus filled with goddamn champions and fucking winners. Let's goddamn do this. Tommy Hayden, you're in control. You, Dan Kirk, get into the red corner. Kilkin, get into the blue corner. This is Pancrease in a motherfucking living room. Fight Circus 4, let's do this. Finally, Fight Circus 4, get the lawyers, the guns, and the money. The moment we've all been waiting for. I'm Teddy Mauve alongside Luke Welling, bringing you the commentary today. In the red corner, Daniel Kerr. Blue corner, Keokin. Living room fighting. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, good knee to the body. Goes again and again. It's gonna have to D that. Yeah, good takedown. Great sprawl by, sprawl by Kerr. Boxes are getting in the way, of course. Tommy Hayden, number one ref in the biz, getting it out the way. Clearing the stage. Kyokin pushes him against the corner, trying to go to work. 
very interesting use of the furniture right off the bat from Kyokin. Thought they were going to have a little pillow fight for a second. <laughs> Daniel Curry looked confused as shit. Kyokin oh, really trying yes. to get it down. Kerr saved by the couch. Never thought I would say that. <clears throat> Four minutes left. We have three five-minute rounds. This is regular MMA. Just a few extras in the ring. Thanks for hanging in there with us, folks. You know it was a long delay, but we've got an unbelievable card coming your way. Starting off with domestic pank race. Kyokin does not want to stand with Kerr. I think that's very smart on his part. Take him to the ground, get him tired. If Kyokin more of an MMA background, Kerr's a uh, very good striker of all sorts. We've seen him box, we've seen him do Muay Thai, he's incredible. Absolutely. Ooh, oh, 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 dirty little elbow in <clears throat> Hayden seen too much, too much stall in the action. Crowd pops and we are toe to toe. There it is. No couch this time, Kyokin on top, full guard. Kerr, get those elbows, hammer fists now. Kerr trying his best to get up. Tommy Hayden trying his best to avoid tripping over the couch. <laughs> it's true. Okay, he's got three minutes now to work. Let's see the BJJ showcase. Kerr doing his best to negate the offense of Kyokin. He's doing a pretty damn good job if you ask me. Kyokin is very thick for an Asian. He's just got like <laughs> massive cankles. His head's kind of broad. He's a thick dude, thicker than a Snickers. Good right hand up top. Trying to posture up. Elbows will be vicious. Nice little left, another one. Kerr, great defense. Daniel Kerr had the full main out last night at the faceoffs. He opted for the sort of white girl on vacation braids. Yeah, I'm very surprised he didn't go to Sideshow Bob. He is looking okay. absolutely ripped. I'd imagine he's uh, made good use of uh, Gorilla Supplements. Here yes. Gonna, it's my first sponsor shout out. Here we go. Let's see, let's see if Kyokin is tired. Oh, big elbow and a nice, nice elbow after that knee. Oh, oh Kyokin's out, I think. He's in the under, oh wow, he's in the upside down world now. Oh good, knee to the body and another one. Uh oh. Kerr punishing Kyokin on the ground. Yep, this isn't as funny as the opening minute now, is it? It's a real fight, ladies and gentlemen. Kyokin in a world of hurt and Kerr just pounding him now. Kyokin doing his best, but he's not doing much and definitely not doing enough. Tommy Hayden right in there. He's waiting. And that's it. I All thought right. so. Hell of an effort there. Yeah, honestly, uh, clearly Kyokin uh, picked up on the comedy aspect by starting a pillow fight early on. Yes. And then he got caught with one good blow to the face. And I think he finally realized this is a real Ladies deal, and gentlemen, holy field type fight. In illusions, there are no losers in this dojo. So give a round of applause for both these warriors. That being said, Tommy Hayden, please raise the hand of the man in red, Daniel Kerr, via ground and pound at 347 of round number one. Inaugural domestic pancreas champion, Daniel Kerr. Fantastic. Fastest fantastic growing fantastic. sport in the world. Here, Again, fantastic win right there. I just wanted to say that if you want to say anything to any of your friends, fans, family, what do you want to say? Live from Phuket, it's Sunday morning! It's Sunday morning live! With Tracy Larby, Orwan Ali Mohammed, Thomas Hayden, Teddy Mulvey, Luke Welling, Random Holmes, Ninja Midgets, with special guests, Dang Mo with musical act Bob Sapp. We're gonna give that with a big thumbs up. What do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Anakin. Prepare yourselves because the fastest growing sport on the planet is about to get a whole lot slower, dumber, and fatter. 
as John Nutt and the team at Full Metal Dojo, the global leader in circus fights, unleashes a brand new type of stupid on the combat sports fans around the world. The pinnacle of freak show fighting is here, folks, bringing the spectacle and the satire to the entire sport. And you can witness it live. Fight Circus 4 is live from Phuket, Thailand, and you should go there. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Let's get up and let's get ill, fight fans. This is Thailand. We're in the sticks. We're in the jungle. Get hot. Get sweaty. Thailand, make some noise. Undefeated in the fight circus ring, the fastest growing combat sport on the planet. She likes to feed the monkey. She likes to feed the monkey. She likes to feed the monkey. She likes to monkey. Six million years. Wait, come on. Man. People have been roaming the earth. We have been evolving over time. We have been creating civilizations, improving medicine, industrialization, and then new technologies. The and tonight, we just fucked it all up with this fight right here. Yeah! <laughs> This burger is blood and tears. Oh. 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 Wow, wow, wow. Welcome back. Fight Circus Force and lawyers, guns, and money. <clears throat> so much anticipation for this, Luke. We are finally doing it. We are finally kicked off. First fight, Cairo. Kyokin, excuse me, just could not do enough against the madman, Daniel Kerr. Up next, though, of course, white collar boxing. Two of the richest, most arrogant men fighting. But unlike most well, white collar boxing, they'll be wearing the Armani suits in the ring with a little bit of that fight circus sprinkle. Hold on, what do you think? Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to this fight. And at home, just root against both of these guys. They have a lot of disdain for regular folks, poor folks. So, yeah, honestly, uh, David Armitage, the bigger gentleman, like clearly you'll see that right away, but he's got very little training. Um, except he does appear to harbor some anger towards his opponent. They're they're friends, but I've I've spoken to them both privately, and this should be this should be a banger. They're uh, both very arrogant, very arrogant. And again, Denver Jackson is the most inappropriately named person on the card. Like I envision a, a enormous black man who plays linebacker when I hear Denver Jackson, but no, you'll see he's a small, pale, wayfish white guy. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I don't think this one's going to the judges. I don't think so either. I think they have a vendetta against each other. I don't believe in the smiles. I think they're gonna get in there. They're gonna head hunt. Let's just hope that they're safe. I'm just kidding. I hope they're not. Yeah, and we've got uh, incredible fights coming up after that. We've got two on two Siamese twins kickboxing. Then we got TT taking on two guys upstairs, downstairs. It just goes on like that. We've got some real seriously violent fights as well as the Letway match that comes up later right. in the card. So Gloves no, off. This is a real yep. fight circus. It's insane. Yeah. We also have transgender on the card. Nong Rose, one of the most beloved in Thailand transgender fighter. Pronouns she, her. She's going to be on the card as well, and I cannot wait. That is a show stealer, I think. She always comes ready. She's always a big fan favorite, and we are filling up here in Illusions Nightclub on Patong Beach. This is one of the top dance clubs in the world.
In our second fight of the night, five rounds of two minutes in boardroom boxing. White collar boxing is a criminally redundant and unnecessary blight on combat sports, so naturally it made its way onto fight circus. But we got the boardroom brawl! In one corner, Mr. Jackson. In another corner, Mr. Armitrage. White collar boxing is the most dangerous combat sport on the planet. Mm -hmm. There are more fatalities in white collar boxing than any other combat sports combined. Two past their prime desk jockeys wrap up and throw down. Queensberry rules with formal ring attire. We took a mistake and made it even mistakier. You ever go to work and you just want to rip people's heads off? These guys do not match up skill-wise, size-wise, or aesthetically. These guys are definitely richer and better than you in every way imaginable. Ever catch a contact tie from someone else's midlife crisis? Well, you're about to. White collar boxing coming up next.
Yes, sir. Come to our second bout of the evening, and it is the most violent, most dangerous combat sport on the planet. No joke, more people die in white collar boxing than any other combat sport. Why? Probably because they do a bunch of coke before they get to the fucking ring. Idiots. Idiots, I tell you. So without further ado, this is boardroom brawling, and it is three two-minute rounds, three two-minute rounds of action. First, fighting out of the blue corner. The blue corner hails from the UK, and he looks about 12 years old. His yacht length is 18 meter, and his fight name is fucking Nebraska. What is his specialty? Meeting bingo. Meeting bingo. Let's give it up for the blue corner, Denver Jackson. His opponent, standing across the squared circle, wearing the tailor-made outfit. This man also hails from the UK and is slightly over the hill in age. His yacht length is 20 meters and he is a sugar daddy. What is his specialty? Accidental ball strikes. Let's give it up for the UK's own David Armitage. <laughs> this fight, because both of these men are so wealthy, they will be prize fighting tonight. That's right, no purse on the line, they will be prize fighting. Three two minute rounds of board room brawling. And when it gets under the way, the man in charge is Matthew Semper. Once again, purple gloves, David Armitage. And in the red gloves, Denver Jackson, three two minute rounds. Third man in the ring, uh, Tiger Muay Thai legend Matt Semper. Like he's an, honestly like a serious official. Oh, okay. taking control of the ring. Yeah, he doesn't fuck around. According to a recent Pew Research poll, this is the fastest growing combat sport on the planet, Teddy. Yes, it is. Absolutely. We're going to see a bunch of those here. Take a look <clears throat> at the corner. We got the norm corner there. All right. Jackson with the jabs, pawing at him. Big right hand by Jackson. Oh, Armitage trying to bully him. Oh, another right hand. Jackson will not back down. He's getting pushed, but he is pushing back. Oh, good right hand from Armitage. Goes to the body, both of them now. Not a lot of defense here from either of these guys. They're just kind of going forward. They only go forward. No, this is a full-blown brawl right here. And see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think they actually like each other. These are two of the richest men in Thailand, finally getting it out, getting Oh, oh, oh. David Armitage doesn't blink. Yeah, no. I think we know why David Armitage has those big eyes. We know what he's been doing backstage. <laughs> yeah, I believe you're right. We try to, oh. uh, you know, do nose inspections, but these guys are crafty. Wow, oh, Jackson was actually pushing him back. Nice little cheeky uppercut there from Jack. Yeah, I think he realized standing and, standing and banging with a bigger Armitage was like a really bad idea. That gut, though, is weighing on Armitage now. Sure. It might look good in the boardroom, but uh, it's getting heavy, that tire. Carrying around a few extra kilos, as, oh. as they say over here. Kilos. For my American audience, it's like two and a half pounds or something. Look at the smarty pants. Jackson going for the kill, but couldn't get it. Par now, Armitage. Mouth wide open. He's exhausted already. Jackson's looking pretty, pretty fresh, though. Yeah, he's sure. already got a mouse, though, under his left eye. I'm sure his head's ringing a little bit. You know, Absolutely. You know, first minute was a real bad idea. Five seconds left here in the first round. Great straight right sneaking through there from Armitage. I'm not sure if we caught that. Oh, yeah. Wow. First Beautiful. round Beautiful. in the books. And that's End a, of round one. Moco Tino. More than living up to the billing here. Yeah. I mean, they both went after it. They did what they could. These are not skilled boxers. These are skilled businessmen. Oh, we're losing the pants. Armitage is taking his pants off, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, overheating. See? Yep. Definitely cocaine. His balls are hot, I think. Well, yeah, they've been wearing three-piece three three suits all day. Yes. The ring, the ring girls. Without them, who the fuck knows what round we've been? Nobody here can help. 
She is very pretty. So Armitage's corner man there is a guy named Mark, I believe. Okay. From, uh, I think he trains a top team. And if you can see the yellow suited little little Asian man, Chris Carlo Chua, he brought along his friend and didn't tell him where they were going. <laughs> And we keep throwing him into stuff. He's he's involved in more throughout the car. More naked, I love it. Naked boardroom action. <clears throat> and like, what a perfect name for for the guy who's like being hoodwinked, Mark. Mark. Like we have a we have an yep. actual Mark in the crowd tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, round two. Pants off, shirt open. Let's go, round two of white collar boxing. Purple gloves, Armitage. Red gloves, Jackson. These guys are arrogant, rich assholes who think they win at everything, but someone's going home a loser. Yeah, I'm guessing they got bored comparing like fucking yes. bank account, dick size, boat size, and they were like, let's let's slug it out. And I'm honestly impressed. This is a great little matchup here. It's tight. It's how you handle your skirmishes. Put on some gloves and get in the ring. Like how Jackson's kind of kind of moving his head, getting some head moving in there. Good right hand. Still has that mouse under his eye though, Jackson. Armitage tired as shit, but looking all right face-wise. Nice right hand there from the big guy. Got himself out of the norm corner. There he is. Yeah. He didn't allow himself to be bullied by the smaller man. He should be leaning on him. I know that they don't, they're not trained, but Armitage could get him in the corner, start leaning on him, get that belly on him. Sure, a little dirty boxing action exactly. would probably favor Armitage. It certainly did in the first minute of the fight. But he was taking a lot of uh, ice ice water baths in the corner there. It's pretty uh, Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ever. 30 seconds here around two, three two-minute rounds for these two. Oh, now he's going for it. Nah, didn't have it in him. Good left hook from the big man. Heavy breathing right now from, <laughs> yes, from Big yes. Dave. I don't know if Jackson's got the muscle power to take him down. There's that right hand from Jax. Yeah. Oh, but he gets tagged on the way out. Ooh, left hand from the big guy. Oh, he might have hurt Jackson. They are brawling. I'm showing some halfway decent skills for a guy I'm, yeah. I'm told doesn't train. Yeah. Um, amazing. And I know they're catching some of it here on the stream, but this Illusion nightclub is phenomenal. This is like made for fight circus. Look at, look at Denver Jackson. He's actually maybe second thoughts now after the second round. Are they going to disrobe <laughs> anymore? I hope so. And third round is nude, so don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> don't go anywhere, ladies. Ring girls, how would we know what round it was without smoking hot chicks? Yeah, she's hot. All right, I mean, it's been a mess the first two rounds, as you expect from people who do not train. Jackson, though, seems as though he maybe, you know, after work, you know, hits mitts every once in a while. Yeah. Oh, actually, who do you have up right now on the card, sir? Ooh, that's very interesting. We'll probably see a judge's decision. Seconds out and seconds away. As everybody knows, I, I more than occasionally do judge professional bouts. And 100%. Yeah, I'm going to I'm give the uh, giving it to Armitage at this point. Damage. I am too. He's doing more damage. Yes, sir. Ooh! I think Jackson knows he's got to prove it right now. Otherwise, he's going to go home with his tail between his legs. Both of these guys could benefit from getting on the Gorilla Supplements. Absolutely. Saying, you know? I think they will after this. Good right uh, uppercut there from Arbitage. The big guy throwing the paws. Good head movement. Good head movement there from the little man. Walked into a jab, though, and that hurt him. Might be good for Armitage to just run away at this point, which he is. A little smart strategy. He might have paid his cornerman very well. They can both be very proud of what they've brought to this card, you know. Like that hook Jack's trying to throw. Hasn't landed it for shit, but I like that he's trying. There's that right hand. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Send him center stage. Wow, Jackson, exhausted. Armitage seems like he has a second wind. Oh, big right hand from Jackson. May have wobbled. Come on, 48 seconds. Someone's got to drop. A lot of mouth breathing here. I Let's think go. Both of these guys are, uh, tank is empty at this point almost. Running on fumes. 
looks easy until you step in the ring when you're under the big lights and the crowd is yelling your name. Get that uppercut, can't do it. Good defense, Armitage. A rare shot to the body there. <laughs> yeah. A lot of head hunting. Again, back to my theory, these guys hate each other's guts. Those red gloves are heavy. Oh, good left hand from Armitage. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a nice uh, left hook, actually. They're digging deep, these two. Giving it all they got. You gotta love it. The mouthpiece is coming out of Jackson. Oh, no, he might not even last. Final seconds of the final round. David Armitage, Denver, Jackson, giving it their all, and that is it. I did not think we were going to need the judges, but surprisingly, we do. Valiant effort from both of these guys. They are half dead in the corner. They're going to have, they're going to be visibly have been in a boxing match. By the time you see them tomorrow, yeah, 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 they're not going to yeah. be able to pull this off at the office. Like, no, if you go no, in no. Monday morning, we're going to be like, uh, what happened to you? Be a little bit of a fight club action there. Going to the office with your face smashed up. Yeah, uh, Jackson's got a nice shiner on his right eye. I expect to see these guys uh, crushing a little bit of Bangkok vodka and tonics after this. Couldn't do this without the sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. Support those that support the sport. Wow. It's like a poem. Did you write that before you got no, out? Top of the dome. Top of the dome. That's why you get paid the big bucks, sir. We switched seats and I forgot to bring my notes up here, so I'm going to grab them as the next one. <laughs> tighten this shit up a little bit. That's it, Fight Circus. This is why white collar boxing is the most dangerous combat sport in the world. I said, how you doing, Dave? He said, a heart attack. See what I mean? See what I mean? Denver, are you okay? Can you guys actually make it? You okay? All right. Referee, please bring them in. I'll get on it. Yeah, we weren't lying about how dangerous the sport actually is. It's typically unconditioned athletes, you know, really going after it. David Armitage is having a tough time making it out of his corner. Gotta get those gloves off of that man. He is overheating. That was great. I wasn't sure about this one, but once I saw the training montages from both of these dudes, I was like, oh, they're capable of... Uh, Putting a grown man on, on his ass with a blow or two, appropriately located. Matt Semper in there. We're about to get the judge's decision. We actually flew in very I serious judges for this event. what you guys in the room are thinking was, wow, pugilism at its finest. Am I right? Lomachenko, Triple G, eat your freaking heart out. These guys do not have any actual training, believe it or not. Again, no losers in this dojo, but one of these billionaires has to take the L. So after three two-minute rounds of boardroom brawl action, our judges have come to a unanimous decision for your red corner, David Armitage, who's not even shaking the hand, just blowing that fucker off. Cold shoulder from David Armitage. Takes the L. Great job. Now again, this is prize fighting. I could not get you a belt. You got so many Gucci ones. I could not get you a trophy. The cups you have are priceless. So here is what I have for you. You see my little man over here? You see my little man? That right there is from the bathroom in my foyer. It is literally from the bathroom in my house. It is a crystal Swarovski super, uh, it, right? So you can either have that chandelier or what's in the mystery box? You cannot have one of the dwarves, slavery is illegal. Do you want what's in the box or do you want what's in there? What do you guys think? What's in the box or what do you think? What's in the box? What do you want? Let's go for the mystery box. Let's go for the mystery box. Batman, lift the box up. Lift the box up. Show him what he's won. Lift it up. Nothing. There's nothing in it. You're stupid. You're so fucking stupid. Oh my God, he fell for it. What a moron. Another round of applause for David Armitage. And we'll be back with more Fight Circus in just a moment. 
Coming up next, couples therapy, Siamese kickboxing. Two Muay Thai legends, bound, not gagged, together. Times are changing, and we all know that if you're gonna be in a relationship, communication is key. Especially if that relationship is about kicking ass. We got two versus two, couples therapy. I hate this, I hate this so fucking much. In one corner, we have Mecha and Petzilla. Mecha Petzilla versus the Tupa Cabra. Some say that this is the most experienced fight in the history of the world. These guys are legitimately conjoined, but separated, held together with a t-shirt. One arm's hanging in their limp, the other one's delivering nothing but carnage. You might not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. El Tupacabra has four balls and two sacks, and they're letting them all hang out. Who's gonna kick whose ass? They're all gonna kick ass! Two pucks are in the ring. Let's bring out their opponent, the most experienced Siamese twins kickboxer ever, otherwise known as Mecha Petzl. third man in the ring, fifth man in the ring. Fifth man in the ring, yes, sir. He's a very accomplished Muay Thai referee and an international singing sensation. I don't know if you, yes. you can find his album online. And he has gone viral <clears throat> with a few of his videos. Here we go. All right, here we go. Four men, six limbs, two shirts. We're here to bang. Mecha Padilla with the yellow numbers. L Tupac in the flowered shirt. Love the outside leg kick. This is just a mess. Yeah, the, the, the name of the other gentleman is El Tupacabra. It's a bit convoluted, looks weird on paper, but we thought it was funny in the meeting. <laughs> it's funny, still holds up. Here we go, this is a fairly evenly match. And yep. as you can see, the slightly less experienced team here in the black shirts are huge. At first, Petzilla tried to uh, march him down, tried to walk him down. Not anymore, good head kick up top from Pet. 
Oh, tried to sweep him. Right? Tough one. Beautiful. You'll find that there's a really oh. good center of gravity when you've got four legs. It's really hard. Two parts. Two. Go ahead. It's really hard to sweep a man off his feet when he's got another man holding him up with his full on two legs. I love Team Tupac are just kicking the shit out of him. That's such a good idea. See, just keep him at distance. Throw a couple roundhouses. There it is. A teep down the center as well. Like you said, they are younger. They're a bit thinner. 15 seconds left here in round one. We do have three 90 second rounds. This is also essentially like a very high level test for a commentator. It's yeah. almost impossible to keep up with the limbs that are flailing. You're doing great. A couple outside leg kicks here. A little punch to the belly. Good job, Petzilla. There we go. This is where they wanted to get him. Ah, oh, right when the round ends. Oh, no. What's, what, what, what? No. Nope, oh, there fine. we go. There we go. All right. Ding, ding. Yeah. Ding, ding. ding, ding. And, uh, so that was a mess, and it was lovely. Yeah, I mean, it's always hilarious. The the replays, the, even when it's slowed down, you don't have enough time to call, like, call what's happening. You know who I think would be like, really good at this? the drummer from Def Leppard. Yeah. But you'd have to put him on the right side. You put him on the wrong side, he's just a sitting duck. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, she's so, she, Shout out the Ring Girls, and uh, I so pretty. individually shout out the Ring Girl for round one. Yes. Kimmy, Kimmy okay. is the goddess, the absolute legend mm. of FMD slash Fight Circus Ring Girls. Like, I, I'm pretty sure she gets paid 10 times what the others do. She's been with us for a minute. She's basically the mama son seconds, of all the out. ring card girls. <laughs> I don't know, is that disparaging? No, no, that's perfect. It was meant, no. as, it was meant as a compliment. She's a boss lady, that's what you're saying. She is a boss lady. All right, as you expect, oh. the fatter fighters are a bit tired. They might try to end it here. They're trying to catch these kicks now. Oh, good takedown. We saw a takedown from the more experienced fighters. Uh-oh, uh-oh. These guys literally got turned around, like in the shirt. <laughs> So awkward, this fight. <laughs> but in fight circus fashion, it is amazing. You rarely see uh, this many smiles Ooh, on the I... faces of the actual competitors. Well, when you're in there a thousand times, you start to you start to love it. Oh, nice kick to the body. I love Petzilla just trying to punch him in the stomach. Worth noting, they're using the old four ounce gloves. That is true. I think the Tupac's using those teep kicks might be getting an advantage using their length. Oh, but Petzilla with the head kicks. He's got tree trunks for legs. And there's a body punch again. Caught him. Takes him down. Can't do it. Wow. Wow, Petzilla, the one ends up on their ass. I don't think he's going to put up with that kind of shit. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, what a right hand! What a right hand from Petzilla! Not a man you want to make angry. No! Heavy, heavy shot up top. Respect. Yeah, and we've learned, like, he, he has no weak points. His, his stomach is, like, rock hard. It might be, like, sort of bulbous, but honestly, there's... Wait, did I... I think Petzilla... <laughs> I'm hoping we see a finish here, but it's tough because I don't know. Do you have to knock out both guys or? Nope. One I think is enough here. That makes sense. Now the technique not looking so, oh, oh, oh. Now the technique of those push kicks not really looking so good now. It seems like they're getting red. The experience is now showing from the two rotund fighters. Sure, the right arm of El Tupac Tupacabra is uh, a local fighter known around here as Ty Danny Trejo. <laughs> For obvious reasons. That's why we gave them a Spanish name. Oh! Holy shit! And another fall from El Tupac! <laughs> this is maybe the best Siamese kickboxing fight I've ever seen. He's trying to take him down again. 42 seconds left in the fight. This is the third and final round. Going upstairs, nothing there. There's that right hand again. 
If we make it to the bell, I expect to hear a roar from the crowd on this one. A lot, lot of smiling faces here. Uh-oh, he called him. He's going to try and take him down again. Ref won't let it happen. Oran in his skinny jeans just saved Ty Danny Trejo's life. Wow, Mecha Petzilla is totally dominating this fight now, in my opinion. Yeah, I think they're pulling they're pulling away. Yeah, of course. The it's it's oh. Oy. Wow. Wow. Sportsmanship. Wow. Applause for sportsmanship. Beautiful. The cornerstone of combat sports. Absolutely amazing. Tupac, you guys okay? You're not dying? You all right? <laughs> no? No problem. No problem, my friends. No problem. I'm going to give it just a couple seconds. You okay, Pat? Great yeah. point. I'm okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the judges' scorecards. I'll take these. I'll take these. Getting ready to get the decision. It's really hard to keep track of who's like how many strikes. Yeah, the compu box numbers is uh, probably out of control. Yeah. Good fight though, honestly. I am building yeah. the suspense right now. I must say that every other organization on the planet is now jealous of us because of this. Everyone else's belts only have one face. Not at Fight Circus, my friends. Not at Fight Circus. The champions of Siamese Twins get a championship Siamese Twins kickboxing belt. So without further ado, after three 90 second rounds of the premier Siamese Twins championship kickboxing, your winner is... And still champion, Mecca Petzilla! Please wrap that. They, they earned it. You have no idea how hot it gets under those shirts. Trophy on, Mecha Petzilla, our one and only Happy Jacks. Bring it around, bring it around that way. You gotta turn it around, guys. That's how it goes. Happy Jacks, Peter from Happy Jacks, the best tenderloin in a while, if not on Phuket. And then the losers get a big check. The losers get a big check for fucking nothing. Because that's what they deserve. Nothing. You had your chance. You failed, Tupac. I apologize. Another round of applause for our champions. Please, Bob Fisher, make this magic happen. I'm grabbing boobs. I'm grabbing boobs over here. I'm grabbing Christmas goose early again. Christmas goose. Christmas goose. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, races, creeds, colors, sexual orientation, we will be back with more Fight Circus in just a moment. thing I can say about this fight is TT ah! Denman takes on Tang Mo and Cushy Vlah blah 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 TT ah! Denman is a confirmed Avengers level threat TT Denman versus Tang Mo and Kushal Vyaz TT Denman is a martial arts specialist TT is undefeated in bare knuckle boxing left way and kicking only he told me when he video called me this weekend that he is going to kick Tang Mo square in the face. Nothing on Tang Mo is square, he's mostly round, but he does have a face, and TT Denman plans to kick him there. He is literally so dangerous, he is only allowed to use 50% of his body at a time. By who? He won't tell us. Tang Mo is tied for watermelon. This portly love machine is a local favorite. Tang Mo will fight TT in only kicks followed by Kushal with only arms. Dang Mo, he brings the heat, and Kushal Vyaz, he's the wild card in this one. Kushal had to drop out due to an undisclosed illness. Speculation is not appreciated. Think I got monkey pox. Another fighter has opted to take his place. Very little is known about this man. Other than he has testicles the size of mangoes. Enter some pole Sentai. He ditches the gloves and takes on TT Denman. You, sir, are counted among the mighty. I'm gonna bet my money on the two guys. TT's a bad man, and he's going to be a bad man to these other men. <laughs> So you're about to witness another new concept here. Ladies and gentlemen, 
let's bring out the blue corner. The blue corner is two people. Son Paul Sante, otherwise known as Pet. And of course, the living legend that is Tang Mo. Quite a duo. And their opponent, standing across a squared circle, needs no introduction to fight circus fans around the globe. The billions and billions of women out there swoon and turn pregnant when they look at him. Hailing from Thailand, he is really good at everything. He looks a little bit taller than some of the people. He's tucked into the right places, and you know this man. Let's give it up for the human cockfighting champion, the only kicking kid who might have arms. TT Deadman! <laughs> two fights, two fights for the price of one. One against Tang Mo only kicking, and one against Pet bare knuckle with elbows. And when the action gets underway, Matthew Semper is in charge. 390 second rounds, let's do this. <clears throat> Scariest thing in the ring, T.T. Denman's legs. Second scariest thing, adult onset diabetes. I thought you were gonna go Tang Mo's nipples. Ah, oh, those pepperonis. So again, this bout is only kicking T.T. Denman out of Denman. No, it's not only kicking, they can knee, knee as well, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Legs, it's only legs, legs. Only. legs, legs yes, yes. Thank you for the correction. Because we have had only kicking before. Oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, Tang Mo. Say it ain't so, Tang Mo, say it ain't so. Tang Mo. 
That looks like he's down. Check on Tang Mo. I mean, he may be joking, but he caught one right to the face. Oh, that's enough. That's oh, enough. No. That's enough. Wave it off. Wave it off, Matthew. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Minute 10. Oh, it's okay. You can go home and fuck all these girls right here. These are all yours. That's you, dog. That's you. Okay, you're done? Thank you. Thank you. A round of applause for the living legend. He shouldn't be here. Nobody knows why he's here, except for the fact that he's my friend. I lie, lie, lie. That's what I'm allowed to do. I love him. He's here for stupid fucking reasons. And now, let's do the real fight. Matthew Semper. If there are cuts, you watch for me, Maddie. You watch for me. Watch for me, homie. Let Honestly, Tangmo made it long, like lasted longer than I thought he would. Like, yes. he trains out of a bakery. That's, that's not a real traditional discipline. Do you know anything about Sam Pond? We know so much about TT. We talk about him all the time. When you know about Sam no, Pond? He is a real lumpany badass. So okay. He's got, I'm not sure about his bare knuckle experience, but TT has been on one of our bare knuckle shows, and he's got a highlight reel knockout. It's amazing. So, yeah, this dude's got quite a few Muay Thai fights. He goes by Pat. His name is Sam Paul Santai. I was going to go with the joke that he's not Kushal Vias, who's not here tonight, but Kushal is nursing a bit of a infection. Oh, gross. Yeah. Gross. So yeah, here we go. We are now upstairs. Downstairs was quite funny. I just wanna hats off to uh, Thang Mu. I absolutely love you. We were having some drinks last night. You're a you're a you're a lovely human being. Yeah, we'll have him back. And oh yeah, of course we'll have him back. Physical specimen TT Denman tying up the shoes right now. Yeah, he's getting them boxing shoes on. That's great. Wow, he what's clearly the show right there, huh? Tang Mo, you just got your ass kicked, almost literally, and you're still giving love. That's amazing. You got a heart of gold, Tang Mo, a heart of gold. The rest of you is a fucking lump. Right? Right? I can turn heel. I can turn heel. TT looking great. He clearly uses yeah. the, gor the gorilla supplements. Yes. Bare knuckle boxing plus elbows. All right, Pat better be ready, because <clears throat> we know TT is. And this can get uh, this can get quite dangerous. The head movement of TT, his shoulder rolls, they're very nice. And, oh. and that jab is see see the head movement. See how he's in and out. How fast he is too. The yeah. sniper. He really does have a Kyokushin background, and uh, the kid is quick. Oh, look at the combos. Oh wow, Pet is swinging at air right now while TT is landing almost everything, and he's working that jab from the southpaw stance. Ooh, caught him with that right hook on the way inside. Yes. It's uncomfortable how Ooh. comfortable TT is in these fights. Loves being in the ring. Absolutely. All right, Pet. He needs to get some offense here. This defense, not enough. Open your eyes, Pet. Oh. Slim Shady is down. Come on, come on. Pet. Yeah, he's, 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 he's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's taking a lot of blows already in this fight. Accuracy of TT Denman, top notch worldwide, I would say. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left here in round one. TT, of course, walking him down, measuring. He has so many tricks in his bag, he just decides which one to come out. Oh, there it is! My Go right hand! Oh, snap! Ten point, one punch KO. I don't think our man's getting up here. Matt Semper has already called it. That is it. The right hand. The kid is lethal with that right hand. Yep. He was already hurt. Referee let it go, as he should. Give everyone a fighting chance. But then that was it there. He might need a stretcher. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah this is a dangerous sport, and we've got the appropriate medical personnel on location every time. You see this a lot in um, in Lumpini and in Rajadamnung. They love to get the stretchered out. Amazing sportsmanship from TT right there. He looked like he was even going to help him onto the stretcher. There was that right hand. Dropped him the first time. Beautiful combination beforehand. And then watch. Wow. Right Here's on the done. button. Again, there are no losers. These are all very violent sports. And again, my man is going to be okay. Fight Circus, we make sure that we have the best medical teams possible here in Thailand. No losers, but there's got to be a winner. And this man is one of the most dangerous men on the planet. Let's give it up for T.T. Denman.
You can have his pick of ring card girls if he likes. Yeah, he probably will. And another impressive show on in Fight Circus, on Fight Circus, from T.T. Denman. Another round of applause for T.T. Denman. The guy's an absolute savage. Don't worry, we'll, we will not just throw Pet into the garbage. I can see the lights of his eyes, Pet. Okay, man. Okay, God. Okay. Henrik and my crew, make sure you guys are on it. This is Fight Circus 4, Set Lawyers, Guns and Money, live from the number one club in Thailand, Illusions. And with it comes a special form of action. It's called Indian Leg Rustling. And it's coming up right after this. in sports entertainment. This is Indian Leg Wrestling. You know the rules. The ultimate leg wrestling championship. Meet the baddest women on the planet. Women who cannot fight in the UFC. Women who cannot wrestle in the WWE. Because these women are too fierce, too scary, and too bad, bold, and beautiful to hang with the likes of mere mortals. These goddesses of the ring will rip your leg off and put it on their mantle. It's a trophy to them. It gets them excited. They are the queens of the cage. They are the ultimate leg rustling champions. Witness the future of prize fighting. Money, more money. Who is playing for second place? Who's playing for Dana White and Vince McMahon had a three-way with Quentin Tarantino's foot fetish, you would have Thailand's own The Ultimate Leg Rustling Championship. We are back. We are back. We are back. Hey, referee, come on. Get, some, get a handle of this. I know that this is the most violent, up-and-coming, fastest-growing combat sport on the planet, but let's do this. Obviously, fighting out of the blue corner, she is on OnlyFans, believe it or fucking not. And uh, what is your OnlyFans tagline? Follow me on OnlyFans, baby, Latina Barbie, XX Latina Barbie. That's right, that's right, that's so crazy. Crazy, I never would have thought. And are you on OnlyFans? Yes, and if you subscribe me, I'm going to stay with you. She's gonna spin for you because she's a spinner. She's a spinner, ladies and gentlemen. Tommy Hayden, take it away. This is the fastest growing combat sport on the planet, and it is Indian leg wrestling. I'm honestly really looking forward to this. I just got myself a fresh drink, a little Bangkok vodka and tonic, and I am ready to go. These two are characters. Jesus Christ. Not afraid of the spotlight. I'm not sure. Uh, like, honestly, if they uh, fully understand the rules, but they, they have the other prerequisites we're looking for. Yes, they do. <clears throat> Again. Fastest growing combat sport on the planet. Um, I'm in it for the ladies, but let's see how it goes. Round one. Uh, my ringside vantage point here should be illegal. This is like halfway to a ping pong show at this point. Oh my. Together, ref. Keep it to fucking get it. Tommy! Tommy! I'm having a good time. <laughs> okay, this is lit. 
Latina Barbie versus Frammy the Thai Spinner. Frammy in the jean shorts. Yep. And, uh, and Latina Barbie the <laughs> other one. Go. She's very flexible. Oh my God. Oh. It looks like Frammy got her. Yeah. I mean. Did he? Oh, oh. Yep, yep, yep. Frammy got her. I think the one person in the ring who doesn't know the rules is referee Tommy Hayden. <laughs> or he's just distracted. Round number two. Right now. Tommy Hayden <laughs> is rock hard right now. In the ring. All the blood is rushed out of his brain. So and he, he forgot the rule. This is the least professional I've ever seen Tommy Hayden. And that's saying something. Yes, he's so. Let's go! Tight round two. Fremmy's got round one. Latina Barbie can't. Oh my children. god. Future children. Oh, 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 oh. And we got a. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, she got her. She got her. That's it. Oh my gosh. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> Fight circus. We're stupid. So that's done. two out of three. Yeah. All right. So again, it was. Yeah, no, it's two out of three. As always, two out of three. Fremmy got it. Look at Tommy. Tommy calls it, and the hornball wants another round. I love it. I take back all the shit I was just saying about him. That's a great concept. That, yeah, we play three rounds no matter what. Look at his, look at his package. Look at Tommy's package. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to. I want to. <laughs> great. She's squeezing it. The ladies in the crowd are, I think this is a bit bizarre. The lady behind me goes, this is so weird. Someone get her a Bangkok vodka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Now they're moaning now. Riding. She's riding in pain. Oh, oh, oh. She's riding oh. in pain suffering. Oh, my God. Tommy no longer even paying attention. Look, at he's just looking up her. He's just looking up her crotch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tommy's the, the number, he likes this more than anybody right now. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you, John. Thank you. My lord. Stand them up. Stand them up. Grab your hands. Best thing is there's still three ringside judges sitting there, like, watching. We did. I think we've all, we've made the world completely dumber for watching this. And uh, I would like to say that I'm not going to go to the judges. I'm not going to go. Everybody here for that, everybody here just lost. <laughs> Everyone here just lost. We will not raise anybody's hands. I won. Tommy won. Tommy won. <laughs> he did. A round of applause for our own fans, Ring Girls. And again, oh, why? Uh, who else wants to go shower? We don't, we don't condone that here. We I don't, like we don't more. condone that. That wasn't planned. That wasn't Come part on. of the show. I mean, like, I'll take, we'll I'll take it. With more Fight Circus in just a moment. In our next bout, a left way grudge match between Christoph Kirsch and Gleeglor. <laughs> Sorry. Honestly, there's nothing funny about this one. Why, it's Lethaway, of course. Uh, it's also a, a German versus some other sort of Eastern European guy. Probably some sort of ancient white hot hatred that regular Europeans are fairly unaware of. Hmm. Is his name really Gligor? Gligor? Gligor throws headbutts like his skull came with a jackhammer setting. Meanwhile, Chris Kirsch throws his neck around like a giraffe in heat. These two are running this fight back, although I doubt there is going to be very much running. What you guys don't realize is that Kristoff is an absolute monster. He is a terrifying man. But Gligor knows that already because they fought in the Lethway World Championships. As much as I, I'd like to party with you, uh, you should probably seek professional help. Hmm. Chris beat that ass. And he gonna beat that ass again. Punches, kicks, knees, elbows, and headbutts. All for your sick viewing pleasure. Burmese bare knuckle boxing up next. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what should be the most violent fight of our Fight Circus Force and Lawyers, Guns and Money event. It is 
Burmese bare knuckle boxing done in the WLC rule set. No, no, Let's no, no, no. bring out our fighters. <laughs> Here we go! Hey, action! Right way action! Here we go! These guys have fought before, and man, it was a banger! Jamar. I'm Teddy Mome, and it's not Luke Welling! I'm next to Jamark. Yes, sir. How you doing? Good. How are you, sir? Great, great, great. Excited, excited. Is this your first fight circus? Second fight circus. Okay. I was a fan of last month. Now I'm helping out, man. I'm excited, bro. I love fight circus. It's amazing. Best show on earth, bro. Nothing better. Where are these fighters? Something's going on in the back. What is... Jamark, what is your highlight so far of the show? Um, where do I begin? <laughs> That's oh, a good man, answer. bro, where to where to begin? Um, we had amazing OnlyFans wrestling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't really have to follow any card. Like if we were doing a real broadcast with a real broadcast channel, they would absolutely massacre me for this. But luckily, the leading broadcast streaming channel for fights, aka Fight TV allows me a lot of leniency. And apparently, we're gonna bring Chris Kirsch out first. And you wanna know the real reason? You wanna know the real reason, audience? Why? It's because the guy who was going into the ring for a Burmese bare knuckle boxing fight didn't put a cup on. Didn't put a cup on. Isn't that like, bring a mouth guard, bring a cup. You got two fucking things to do. Two fucking things to do. So let's bring out the opponent first, fighting out of the red corner. Let's bring out the German, Christoph Kirsch. All right, a bit of change. A little change in the walkout. Yeah. Christoph Kirsch out of Germany. A former sniper in the German army. Oh, a legit sniper, an absolute headhunter in the ring. This dude is no joke. And for me, coming from a Jewish background, I'm happy he was a sniper now. And it's not 1940. I'd be in trouble. Yeah, I, I'd be in. I'd be in trouble right now. Yeah, yeah. Me too, apparently. Yeah, that's true. Me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I would be in trouble along with you. <laughs> we would both be on a train out of here. Exactly. First bus <laughs> back, bro. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's so stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've got a fight, if you're ever going to get into a fight in a ring, not on the street, please bring a cup oh because God. we care about procreation here in Fight Circus. We want baby making. We want the population to survive and thrive. We're very positive people, not in the COVID or the AIDS sense. We like things to work out. So, I'm gonna say, Chris Kirsch, you've already fought this man once before, and you have the W. What do you predict going forward now? Uh, same thing, but different this time I'm gonna knock him out. This time he's going to for the KO. This time he's gonna finish it. We're going five three minute rounds of action. Five three minute rounds of WLC action, which means it's Muay Thai, minus the gloves, plus the headlights. Let's see if we can bring out his opponent. Let's see if that, that's happening here. Is that happening? <clears throat> How long does it take I to put out a cup? Honestly, this would never happen. It depends on you, apparently, now. And, and like, we're like two steps away. I mean, everybody on. That should be the first thing that's on. Mouthpiece should be last. You know, yes. everybody considers that. Yes, sir. Oh, we're one of the top organizations in the world. We're the At least that's how my trainer would do it. Cup Shiva. on first, mouthpiece last. Your cup should be already on as soon as you walk into the first. ring. As soon as you walk into the ring. How could you put your pants on with, or your shorts on without Exactly, exactly. You should, you should feel it. And they don't even want to, like, what the fuck? So. <laughs> I need to get paid so much more for this. So much more for this. It's a real crapshoot. Is Gligo ready? We can bring him out? All right, fine. 
You guys can clap for him if you want, or don't. I don't care. He didn't wear a cup. Let's bring out the opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. What an idiot. What an idiot. Gligor Stojanov out of Macedonia. Macedonia, okay. Forgets his cup like an idiot. What an amateur. Yeah, amateur. Shame on him and the coaches, kind of, for that one, bro. Yeah, coaches as well, That's too. The first thing they should check. Yeah. Mouthpiece cup. Damn, there he, he is. Like a fucking tank, though. Damn. <laughs> he might don't need his cup. <laughs> Christoph already beat him oh. in Burma. Mm -hmm. It went the distance. So here, Christoph wants to take him out, like he said, mm -hmm. wants to knock him out. This guy looks like an absolute machine. Yeah. Like he eats babies and stuff, bro. Christoph is huge. No gloves, headbutts, eight limbs. Wow. Oh, yeah, let way. Gligor's got a lot to prove. You don't want to go down 2-0 uh, two and o against the guys. Nah, no, you definitely don't. You got to come with something to prove this time. Definitely something to prove this time. Those muscles can't only be for show. Let's go. Hope not. Might be a good sign. If he don't care about his cut, then he don't care about his face. So, That's a good point. Yeah. He don't care. This guy don't care? No. He put his balls on the line. Exactly. No after parties for him tonight. Oh, great. Here we go with this guy and his goddamn cop. Fight without it. Yeah. I don't think he needs We it. gave you the chance. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, let's go. Get in there, Will Choke. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> Come on. All right. I'm going to start Okay, anyway. here we go. Let's get up and let's get to fight fans. This is me doing my best Bruce Buffer impersonation because this is a very real fight, so I will do it very real in terms of MC. Ready? It's a shit show! An absolute shit show. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man hails from Macedonia, or Macedonia, and also Switzerland on the passport note. His record is, they definitely fought before. You can Google it. His look is very Eastern European gangster-ish. I love the way you look. That's the reason you're here. You're a fucking handsome I love man. that. And his weight, I don't know what his weight is, and I don't care. He is the one, the only, and his opponent, standing across the way, hails from Germany. And his record is Chris won this fight the first time they did it. His look is, is you look great. You look awesome, Slim Shady-ish, German, German Slim Shady. And his weight, we ignored it because they both weighed in at 75 kg. Let's give it up for the real Slim Shady of Germany, Christoph Kirsch! <laughs> Five, three minute rounds of WLC action and when it gets underway, Will Choke is in charge. All right, my man, Jamark, this is gonna get dangerous. This oh, is gonna yeah. get bloody, it's gonna get brutal. Let There's going to be beautiful brutality when Letway is on the cards. Once again, that's the sniper from Germany, Christoph in the red. And we got Gligor, who does look like a bad guy in a yeah, movie. He does look like a super bad guy. All right, let's go. I like okay. Gligor right now. He looks strong. Testing each other here early. Getting each other out. Gligor Again. with a good check. Okay. Got a nice guard. Got a really good guard. Definitely finish up out. Ah, oh, good. Mm. Okay, good. Okay. Looking both very composed, too. I like that. Yeah, they Looking are. Yes. Nobody's rushing in. Nope. You can tell both of them really want this one. They really so, do. It is yeah. a fight circus card, yes. but this is very important for these yeah, two. This is a definitely a super serious yep. fight. Kirsch taking center stage, taking the yes, middle, yes. dictating where the fight goes, Jamark. Legal's done a really job of being patient, looking for openness. Yeah. He, got, he got hit in a couple a little bit, but it's okay. He don't care about them anyway. 
Ooh. 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 Can you get to the nice cross? Ooh. Straight jab. Straight. Oh. Lee Gore. Ooh. Hands up. Hands up. It's okay. Keep shuffling. Peppering him now with that leg kick. Yeah. Looking kind of little, little, a little bit redness on the lead. Oh, ooh, ooh. Yes, that was, okay, okay. Come on, Gligor, you got it, man. Doing really good, can pose. Some offense now. Hey. Kristoff staying active, huh? Yes. Good for the corner Damn, to see. Right on the leg. Corner Damn, right on the leg. Oh! 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 My God. oh! oh! Gligor! Gligor! Oh! Oh! Right, left, Gligor. Gligor talking shit to the corner. Man with something to prove. He did not need the cup, apparently. Yes, wow. Wow, one and one now Ooh. between these two. Wow. I would love to see a three, bro. Oh, Does a Steph man. Curry sleep, Joel. Yes, Steph yes. Steph Curry sleep. Wow, wow. Oh, Gligor is that huh? quick, yes. Shit. Wow, Gligor still, yes, still adrenaline yes, yes. on a thousand. Yes, bro. He won. He clearly wanted that win back. He literally, like he said, came in with something to prove. Wow. Gligor gets okay. it done in one. When it comes to nice. And or Woo. Not so much. It depends on how you go. There are no losers in this ring, but we got to have a winner. And after one minute and 51 seconds, 151, your winner via KO, Gligor. Mark, thanks for joining us, man. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank and you're you. welcome back anytime, yes, dude. Sir. Thank you so much for having me. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed WLC Letway action. It is its finest. Lee Gore, you won. <laughs> you won. You're amazing. A lot of people will count you out. Kudos to Lee Gore. Ladies and gentlemen, you never know what's going to happen. I'll tell you the truth. You never fucking know. This is, after all, the global leader in shit show fights. Unreal. Fight Circus. Oh. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Coming up next, the Wheel of Violence. We got the Wheel of Violence. You spin that wheel, see what style we're gonna bash each other's heads in with. The Wheel of Violence. Johnny Tello, who is a savage in the ring, he's got hands of stone. James Sexual Healing, a legend here in Phuket. From Ireland, he gets down and dirty with the best of them. Welcome to Wheel of Violence, Canada and Ireland. Yeah, you know, white men may not be able to jump, but they sure do know how to punch each other in the face. I'm not gonna prep for boxing how I'd prep for jujitsu. And that's a possibility, is one would presume they're gonna get to the ring, spin the wheel, and whatever it lands on, that's the fight. Spin the wheel, make the deal. The fight changes every round. MMA roulette is the sport of kings. So maybe round one is bare knuckle boxing. Headbutts only. Turkish oil wrestling. I mean, come on, who doesn't wanna see that? 75 kg fight coming right up next here at Fight Circus. Fight TV is the number one broadcaster in shit show fights. This is the moment where I get into my Bob Barker zone. You know what I'm talking about, Bruno. You know what I'm talking about. We're gonna Bob Barker the bag out of this. All right? This is my favorite right here. This is the wheel of violence. This is a creation. Hey, hey guys backstage, you guys okay? You guys okay? Can I have my little people with me? 
Little people, come with me. Little people, come with me. You guys are gonna help me. And then we, and then we go wheel of violence out? Okay, bring out the fighters first, which we're gonna call contestants. Because it's a game show. Can I put on a Lucha Libre Dormant? I should probably put on a Lucha Libre Dormant. This is great. All right. Hey guys, calm down. Calm down. All right. Check this out. This is how we're doing this one. This is how we're doing this one. I'm wearing pink, 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 pink. Ah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Wheel of Violence. One wheel that when spun every round, three rounds, will choose the fate of violence that they fight under. So let's bring out our lovely contestants. with a mixed bag of what they're gonna do. Yeah, and it could be a 15 minute fight. If it lands on MMA every time, it could be 15 minutes. It could be foot in the tire. We don't know. They've got also uh, only kick kick. They got only legs, only arm. Spinning shit only. It's exciting. Yep. Fight coming up though. Jack, Elef Jack Elefanakis looks like shit. <laughs> For all of you in Phuket right now, if Jack. You've never been, Jack, a Jack Elefanakis. Can I say Jack? Yeah. Oh. That's right. That's right. The just just, just rest your throat. Makes all recycled goods into mega lithic, just freak show awesomeness. That is not the right way. Jesus. When you, when you pay peanuts, when you pay in bananas, when you pay in peanuts, you get rats. <laughs> Ladies, you look lovely this evening. And lovely clowns, thank you very much. Okay. Now, as you can see, the wheel, does it function? That's literally the first time I spun it. So let's give it a harder pull than that. You gotta go harder. Yeah. Right? Hey, so guy that's turning the wheel. What's your name? Jamar. Jamar. Jamar? is our special wheel turner for this first round, okay? But when you spin this wheel as hard as you can, as you can see, one five minute round of MMA, one 90 second round of only legs, one foot in the tire, we literally have a tire right over there, and if it lands on that, they fight foot in the tire. A three minute round of Muay Thai, only arms, spinning only, striking's score. Six pieces of the Trivial Pursuit Pie, just for Johnny Tello and James Hill. So without further ado, please, give that thing a real good This is exciting, Teddy. Suck it, Teddy. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> Spin it again. Jamark is doing great work tonight. I'm glad we brought him on board. Yes. Unbeknownst to him. All right, I'm hopping down in here. Hopping down in here. Ladies, you guys can hang out right there. Fighters, come with me. Red corner. And they will they will spin the the wheel again in between rounds. This could be Don't anything. Be hang out. Fighting style for James Healan is Irish. Interesting. Not a bad. Next fight in the Wheel of Violence division. One spin of the wheel decides each round what a violent act they will be fighting in. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man hails from Paris. His record depends on the sport that you go with. His favorite new food is vegan. What? You're a fucking vegan? His fight style is hockey enforcer. And his fight game right now is some sort of lumberjack joke. And I mean that because I can't make up a lumberjack joke. I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Canada's own Johnny Tello! <laughs> and his opponent, and lost the square circle. This man hails from. Ireland. I love Ireland. This record is a lot of wins and a little bit of losses. His favorite food is anything fish flavored. The guy loves salmon. His fight style is he's from fucking Ireland. That's what he fucking fights like. He's from goddamn Ireland. And his fight name is the one, the only. James Sexual Healing! One five-minute round of MMA, and if it goes further, we spin the wheel again. Will Chope is in charge. It appears that James Healan brought some gangsters to be in his corner. There's an enormous third man that I've never seen before. I don't think they're legally supposed to stand like like WWF. They're like they look like soldiers of fortune. Do you want to go tell them? No, I was gonna say you go tell them to get down. Okay. Red corner James Healan, blue corner Johnny Tello. Both very experienced fighters. Canada, blue, red, Ireland. Five minute MMA fight circus four. Bring the lawyers, guns, and money. Outside leg kick from Healan. Tello leaps in, doesn't get much out of it. Johnny's coming off a recent MMA fight. It was great. He won. Healan's been fighting Muay Thai recently. He said he had to do a few sprawls this week to get ready. That was about it, though. All right. There you go. Tello again leaps in. Now they're wrapped up. And a simple break from both fighters. Back to square one. Tello looking for an opening. Tremendous outside leg kick. Answered back by Tello. Four minutes, 13 seconds left. Body shot by Tello. Tello, incredible with his hands. So many amateur boxing fights, so many wins. Very comfortable in the ring. Actually, both of these fighters. Absolutely. Kick goes up top now, just off the arms. Tello switches stances. Healing much longer, isn't he? And using it, Luke, isn't he? Lo using that reach, losing, using that length to his advantage. Absolutely. He's making sure that each one of these lands he's missed with very few strikes. Some of them are getting blocked, but they're all yeah. kind of finding Tello. Tello just needs to find his distance. And once he does, look out. There he is. Chop that big leg. Oh! Beautiful combination. There's that sweet boxing. Ends it with an outside leg kick. Beautiful. Yeah, Johnny's really slick with the hands. You want to stay on the outside as long as you can. A lot of intelligence in that ring as well. Heavy kick. Tello bounces off the ropes. Ooh, good head movement there by Johnny. Ooh, good check healing. Is he getting red now by Tello? 
There he is going to work. Beautiful combination. Healing has to get away from the ropes, and he does. No one trying for a takedown yet. This is the no. the one one real option on the on the wheel with takedowns. Cello is finding his spots now. Healing waiting for him to come in. Good head movement there from Tello. Swing and a miss on that left from Healing. Outside leg kick. He's punishing that leg. You can see it reddening up now. Getting soft and tender. That lead leg of Healing. Tello light on his feet. Attacks the leg again. Goes up top. Not much. Healing's really looking for that sort of downward right. And he has that left really low. He's got his left hand real low here. Johnny might be able to go over the top with a right. Or is he being baited in? Good jab there from Tello as he's marching him against the ropes. Both with the same idea. Go, guys. Come on. Crowd. Loving, loving James right now. You hear him yelling. Come on, James. Let's go. He brought half his house here. Nice jab inside and outside there from Tello. Tello loves switching stances. He has such, so many guns in his back. Sure. So many weapons. Neither of these guys have any trouble landing, to be honest. Not at all. Minute 30 left here in the MMA round on the Wheel of Violence. Fight Circus 4. Tello leaps in again. Now he's starting to wait. Good head movement. Will he take him to... Oh, oh, oh. And they get dumped in front of the commentary booth. Oh, my God. Absolutely amazing, ladies and gentlemen. James wow. He's a soldier of... Oh, we've got a mouth. We've got a mouth guard down. Mouth, hey, hey, mouthpiece. Mouth guard. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. All right. It's, mouthpiece. It is, mouthpiece. It is literal pandemonium. Wow, 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 wow. We probably could have done more about that, but it was like amazing to see. I, I, oh my God, this fight has just taken another level. Right hand from Healing. He's measuring Tello now. He knows when Tello's gonna jump in. <laughs> Huge head kick just off the gloves. What a great fight, Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is awesome. There's one way to start it, too. Wow. Full five minutes of just banging. Yeah, we got lucky MMA. on that one. Healing is showing a good amount of red on his body from the strikes that have landed from Taylor, but he is Irish, and I don't think the sun gets there much, so Irish fighters tend to show that redness. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Oi. All right. Tello at the final moments of the round wants to get some grounded pound and he's doing it. Will Chope looking on. Right hands raining down. Tello back up. He's stacking him now. Tello wisely or no. kind, of, kind of graciously taking him down away from the ropes this time. Consummate professional both fighters. There it is again on the leg. Wow, Tello really getting into a groove in the last three minutes of this fight. Sure, yeah. Wow, wow. Wow. We're getting a standing ovation after just a single round of this wow. fight. What? Yeah. What uh, animals? They wow. both fell through the ropes, wow. hit the commentary table, Real got right back up, got in there, right? and Heelan didn't even want his mouthpiece back. How about James Heelan going out of the ring and when he was like landing, he was already saying, I'm ready to go. I can't believe it. He's literally one of my favorite fighters on the planet. Go watch him fight John Wayne Parr. For any of those of you that don't know, James Heelan literally fought James, uh, John Wayne Parr before. I'm gonna stand up here like I'm uh, some sort of Burt Reynolds. Bob Barker was what I was looking for though, right, Bob Barker? And again. <laughs> Burt Reynolds, Bob Barker. Is the Jack, Jack Galifianakis. Jack Galifianakis. One minute. We're on fire tonight. <laughs> yeah, okay, here. Who's, who's spinning it, let's go. Oh yeah, yep, we got good to go? Yep, we're gonna spin it. Hey, Johnny Tello, you ready? You guys supposed to smile at each other? You, hold the microphone. This is incredible. I want to do five minutes of MMA again. Yeah. I do. I, sure. That's me. I want it. Well, you, we love violence. I'm not sure they got 15 minutes in. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. That's probably like the, the worst thing it could land on for two exhausted fighters already. But. For those of you that don't know, it's not spinning only. You guys don't have to just spin. It's only spinning attacks count. So my judges already know this. They're basically fighting one two minute round of stand up fighting. But only
they score the spinning shit. The kids love the spinning shit. It's the reason why we're here. We all love the kids. Kids love the spinning shit. Kids love Johnny Tello and James Healy. So without further ado, round number two of the Wheel of Violence. This is incredible. So again, they can essentially fight any way they want, but only spinning attacks will score here in the second round if we go all the way to the judges' scorecards. Helen knows he needs this round. He knows he needs it. So he's going for it. Already first spin from Helen. Tello, spinning back kick, awkwardly. Oh, a little sort of capoeira back kick action. Crowd is going eight shit right now for these two as they should. Watch. I think the midgets are coaching up there on the stage. Which... <laughs> All right, who can set up the best spinner? Oy, he caught it. He can still knock him out with a right, and it's over. Even if it's spinning, if it's not spinning. 100%. I don't, I'm not sure it's occurred to either of these guys yet, but James did. Oh. Glancing, spinning back left from Johnny Tello there. Both of these guys in phenom well, phenomenal shape. Healing brought his entire fight camp. Tello just brought his beautiful, lovely girlfriend in, in the corner. It's a bit weird hearing the, nothing from one corner and a lot from another corner. This is probably the best I've seen Healing look physically, and I think the, the Gorilla Supplements guys are in his corner, actually. There you go. That's probably nice. the reason. This has got to be exhausting. After Four. five minutes of MMA. Well, they only got 44 seconds left here on this one. Yeah, graciously, this is only a two-minute rounder. Not going to lie, thank God. It's a great, great, great rule change, though, that oh, it was. it's not spinning attacks only. Yeah. That's just the only thing that scores. John Nutt saw, always on the edge of innovation. We saw the mistake on the first one. Get it better on the second one. Good check by Tello. Tello's looking for a... Oh! Oh! First big hit! That might have given... James the round. Tello ate it like it was nothing. He's looking for it. <laughs> Cheeky <laughs> slow motion back. Ooh, oh, back got him with an elbow. elbow. Now they're Bangkok brawn a bit. Oh, 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 oh. We may be looking at fight of the night here. This is and incredible. Wow. Incredible. And it looks like we will go to a third round of the Wheel of Rounds. Who the fuck would have thought this would happen? This is crazy. Muay Thai, come on. Getting stoned at the Lowlands. Where's that guy at? Yeah, yeah, you are. I know you. You're doing a great job. It's crazy that uh, Thailand opened up the floodgates of Mary Jane, and now it's just a smoke show in here. And all you idiots that smoke, remember this. It rots your brain. It rots your brain, you morons. I would never smoke that shit. All right. He's Johnny Tello. He's lying. Check it out. James, check it out. <laughs> we are spinning the wheel. I want Muay, Muay Thai MMA. Muay Thai MMA. Let's go. Muay Thai or MMA. Yes. Oh, no. Awesome. We've got five more minutes yes. of MMA action. Oh, yeah. The wheel of violence. That's it, off, baby. We have mercy. We're merciful. Muay Thai. Yes. Yes. Do it. Come on. Come on, Muay Thai. Let's go. Perfect. Perfect. One three-minute round of Muay Thai coming up here. We've seen MMA, we've seen spinning attacks, the only thing score. Now we get some Muay Thai action, and both of these guys are fantastic. Ooh. Johnny Tello in the color for shorts. Sexual healing in the tights. God, we got lucky on this one. The real, the real winner here is the fans. Yeah, this is a concept yep. proven here. Yeah. No doubt. All right. A lot of what we saw in round one without the takedowns. Big knee from healing. Tello fights his way out of the corner beautifully. Sweat flying everywhere. I'm actually getting hit with some of it. This fight. Big right hand. Fantastic. Two fighters center stage. Are you not entertained? Fight Circus 4 is on fire right now. 
hush amongst the crowd, waiting for something to pop off. Trading leg kicks. Great body shot there from Healing. Yeah, I don't care how this ends. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm applauding from my from my feet. As you should. The ovation yeah. of standing Watch a variety. Kick. Lead right from Tello didn't get anything. <laughs> Healing finding a lot of success with his kicks. All fight. There it is again. Go to the well. It's working, buddy. Right hand, right down Main Street. That was a success. Oh! Works the body, but gets caught up top on the chin. Tello getting a body shot on the way in. Getting kicked hard now. Oh! Mouth Maybe one of the best fights I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Fastest growing sport here, the Wheel of Violence. And I love it. Both with the same idea, canceling each other out. Tello digging the body again. Digging again. Oh, good feints, good fakes from sexual healing. Both fighters taking a, taking a little, little breather here. Final minute. Yep, 53 seconds to be precise. Right hand from healing, a pop from the crowd. Both these guys winning over everyone here. Two modern day gladiators going to war. Gotta love it. Tello jumps in. You see the reddening on Healing's back from the concrete floor. I wonder how much that's gonna play into it. And again, successful leg kicks from Healing. I wouldn't want anything to do with scoring this fight. Yes! Great combo. This could be a difference maker if Tello can be a clearly win this round. Tello, very crafty. Wow. Final seconds now. And Tello digging in. Oh, ripping a combo at the end. Oh. I think we're over two minutes. All right, three minutes. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh. Standing. We're all standing. The crowd is going nuts. The Wheel of Violence is clearly a winner, but you don't get a great fight like without two guys yes. like that who are willing to just go yep. fucking balls to the wall. Yep. Who are fun, they're willing to bang, they're willing to do something crazy, but they have the experience and the technique to back it up. And that is a wonderful a equation. Second. Yeah, I really do think Taylor came here without a quarter. Hey, he just like no, he didn't brought his hot girlfriend. Thank you for doing that. Proper, proper 12 shout out from the healing. That was fun. Wow. wow. I would just like to again say, uh, Johnny Tunnel, James Healing, you're two of my favorite fighters in the world. Right? I mean this literally. You're literally one of my favorite fighters. I don't like Carl. I do, but you know what I mean. I love you. I like him. He's okay. But I love you. Tell him. I really do. I think you're one, you have one of the best hearts in this motherfucking game. You guys have been a pleasure to work with. I really do admire the shit out of both of you. There's people here in Phuket, around the globe, if you're watching on Fight TV, the only people you guys really care about are at the top. And the top sucks. I'll tell you what, the top sucks my balls. and licks my mother loving bundle. And you wonder why? Because there's people like Johnny Betts. Am I right? There's people like Johnny Betts out there that like literally throw it down all the time. There are people like Petzilla that fight every freaking weekend. Matt Semper over there, who gives it his all. So if you're watching this at home, and you think you're the baddest people on the planet, you've never been to Phuket. We do fighting right. Referee, please bring them in. Wow, judges. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Judges scorecards, let's go. All right, we're gonna go with uh, some, like I'm gonna build the tension here. Right, I'm gonna build it. You get it that. I'm gonna let it run for a second. After three, three uh, spinning rounds of the Wheel of Violence, our judges have come to a split decision. Ooh. For your winner, from Canada, Johnny Taylor. Amazing. I think that's well deserved. Probably took the first and the third.
Took a lot of punishment in second, but what a great... Smiles on your faces. I gotta say, I mean, I am truly am. I'm very proud to have both of you guys here. But yeah, you guys suck each other's ice cubes. Please, again, Bob Fisher, make note, PugilPicks.com. James Healy, I fucking love you guys. From yeah. the bottom of my heart, I really do. Yeah, I love you guys. I love you guys. All right, we've got three more shit shows left. Two that are real, and one that's literally just a crapshoot. The crapshoot is the Bob Sap Challenge. Now, originally, the Bob Sap Challenge was going to be choosing uh, random people from the audience to fight, like they do on Kobe P at Reggae Bar. So he was going to come out here and he was going to get people from the audience, and they were going to do that. But as every circus has a strong man, and I was able to get Bob Sap, we're just going to do tests of strength with little people. We'll be back in just a moment. That's right, sap time coming up, and then co-main event, and then main event, stay tuned, here we go! Circus is on! Now, <laughs> now you're turning into the beast, that's right, channel 81 on your FM dial, and I want you just to take your hand and turn the volume real, real loud, I don't want to have to beat you up, one, two, three! Said I'm a big man. Don't know the beat because I'm the best one yet. Your no, opponent's a fight. It's my own friend. Seattle is my hometown. But Japan Superstar is also found. Make sure this Don't works. Because yeah. you will see. I'll tell you the place with him. Not Japan. DJ, cut the music. <laughs> you know what you And Denver Jackson should be Brony. 100% good call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As far as we know, that's all he does. Now, Big Bob Sap is coming out here to the Land of Smiles to promote tourism. Tourism that is so badly needed after the pandemic that economically crushed our tourism industry. Amen. But as of October 1st, the tourism industry is back. And now that the floodgates are open, I'd 
like to know if Bob Sapp would like, you know, to fight anybody. Wouldn't it be amazing if fucking Floyd Mayweather did like a giant versus small guy or, or one of the other Thor? Where are you at? I don't know where these guys are. But I mean, if you could fight one person, Ooh. Who, who, who would it be? You just give it to me. Well, since I'm retired, I think oh. the beast. I see a little bit of small but mighty. Oh yeah, so they're telling me the Thai people are small and mighty. Damn right. Small and mighty. Well, therefore, I'm going to issue a challenge out. And I want everybody out here to issue that challenge on your Instagram or go and, go and challenge him yourself. I want the next government to take over. I want both cows. Philosophers Daryl Hall and John Oates, who coined the phrase, Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Everybody's got to see this championship open division match. Non Bros versus Andrew Corelli. Carpullo, Carpillo, Carpullo. Andrew Carpullo from California. An open gender Muay Thai fight. The open division Muay Thai championship is up next. Andrew Carpullo versus Nong Rose. Nong Rose, known for her tenacity, her dominance, her broad shoulders, speed, and Adam's apple. <laughs> Nong Rose, a transgendered ladyboy fighter based here in Thailand, has been knocking people out with furious head kicks, power punching, and some really straight up savage clinching. She has over 150 wins. I think after Nong Rose's fight, she should Indian leg wrestle. I would do, I would love that. Legendary queen of eight limbs, Nong Rose squares off against American loose cannon, bad decision maker, Andrew Capullo. Five time pro knock moy champion, a man with multiple titles who wears them around the city unironically. My man knows how to throw down. We got two people right here who've been wanting to fight each other for quite some time. Now Nong Rose is the wild card in this fight, but if any of her fights in some of the big stadiums in Bangkok is any indication, we're sure to have a savage fight here. You know, if I was a betting puppet, I'd be putting my money on the chick boxer and not the dick boxer. <laughs> Once and for all, we're gonna see who's crowned king or queen of the circus. Nong is the bigger celebrity over here by a mile. Sure, sure. I'm not gonna lie, I think Nong Rose is like super hot. Junkyard Theater dancer guys doing flips and acrobatic shit. Junkyard Theater, Phuket, Thailand, you should go there. There's a lot of places in Thailand you should go, but you should definitely come to Phuket and you should definitely check out the Junkyard Theater live dinner theater experience. It's mental. If you've never seen anything like it, it's honestly phenomenal. You should go check it. Standing here, what you know, and Andrew Carpullo is honestly that he's got uh, he's got several titles. He loves showing off his belt. Good Nong Rose came in a little bit overweight in the morning, but she cut the rest of it. You got to fight here, man. Blue corner is in the ring. Fight service ring. Shit show. And uh, let's bring out his opponent, the Queen of Eight Limbs. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> All eyes on the world! Yeah, many around the world have probably right here. seen this before. And I mean, it's not like we see it every day here, even in Thailand. Nongros is bad ass. Her corner woman is a bit frisky, to be honest. 
on it. Yeah. Now, transgender woman against a man. A lot of Americans are a bit shocked by this. They would rather Nong Rose fight a woman, to tell you the truth, in America, but not here in the land of smiles. Yeah, just sit back and enjoy, relax. Yes. Leave your politics at home. We feel like this is a fair match between two badasses. Hell yeah. Get up and let's get go, fight fans and party people. This is Fight Circus Force and Lawyers, Guns and Money live from the number one club in Thailand of Illusions. Live from the Pearl of the Anime in Phuket, Thailand. You should go there. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is our Jean-Claude Van Damme of this real-life kickboxer experiment. Yeah. He is from the U.S. of A. with a record of 22 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands in at 173.5 cm and weighed in at 63 kgs. Representing Phuket, Singha Muay Thai, a round of applause. with a record of 60 wins, 28 losses, and two draws. Her height is 162 cm, and she too weighed in at 63 kg. Representing Saw Paul Chai Wat. Ladies and gentlemen, the queen of eight limbs. No! Mother Love and Rose! Three, three minute rounds of full rules Muay Thai action, and when it becomes underway, is in charge. Uh, Nong Rose would famously uh, kiss her opponent, like on the cheek or on the head, after she would win, which I think is so cute. Adorable. It it is. Is. If you don't think she's at least a little bit cute, you're fucking weird. <laughs> what I'm gonna say, America. We go to Queen of Eight Limbs. Nong Rose, pronouns she, her. Andrew Caputo, pronouns he, him. A ch multi, multi champion. Capuro. Capuro, sorry. We owe him that. We spelled his name wrong on uh, just about everything and got it right about, I think, yesterday. <laughs> Andrew Capuro. Capuro. Double R, roll it. All eyes, man. A lot of buzz online for this fight when it was uh, when it was said, when it was booked. And now we are here. Co-main event. Fight Circus for Again, I'm Teddy Move. Alongside Luke Welling. Bring lawyers, guns, and of course, money live from Illusions Nightclub. Top nightclub on Phuket. Boy, getting right after it. Both have the same idea. Again, if you guys don't know, elbows, knees, clinching, sweeps, all available to these fighters in their bag of tricks. This is a classic Muay Thai with two consummate professionals. Uh, crowd, crowd popping on Nong Rose, of course, hometown for her, home game for Nong Rose. Oh, wow. Outside leg kick snaps. Leg kick here. Great distance here early on. Caperno clearly got the height reach advantage, doing a bit yeah. of stalking here. As he should. Now Nong Rose starting to not starting to fake. Those low leg kicks are definitely landing. Uh, Capuro is closing the distance. Nong Rose getting off the ropes. She has no problem working off the back foot, but she might not want to do that this early. Huge inside leg kick from the American. And we are doing three three minute rounds here. So it says on my sheet. Oh, punch to the body now. Caporo's got her where he wants her. The Norm corner, the Norm McDonald corner. Shout out to Norm wherever you are in RIP. the universe these days. Caporo now can go to work. There it is. Rose still on the rope, still on the back foot. And Caporo is pouring it on. A minute 29 left, round one. Caporo nice. is Nong Rose's first Western opponent. I believe she's fought almost exclusively ties in the past. Ties do take round one a little bit slow, so... Oh. No, 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 no. I think she was just off balance there. Oh. And Capurro right back to it. Left hand up top from the southpaw, and then down low. He is pouring it on Nong Rose. She's got to get a groove. 
inside leg kick now again. So busy. Extremely busy round for a Muay Thai fight. For first round. Yeah, that could be a strategy here. But when there's only three rounds, this is round three. Three, four, five. That's how you have to think of it. Makes a lot This of is already into the money rounds. Nongo's slow to get going. Kaporo loves that inside leg kick, and it's working to perfection. Just off the elbow of Nong Rose. Oh! Oh! Big left hand again from the American. Right on the button. Nong Rose is shaken up. She's good, but she's shaken. She managed to knock Kaporo off balance for a second, and as soon as he regained it, he put her on her butt. The shark, he, he smells blood in the water, and he is going for the kill. Big left hand again to the body, again, relentless from Kaporo. No, no, no. He is punishing Nong Rose. Oh, oh amazing left hand oh, Kaporo. Oh, no, 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 no. He's down. Almost had another out of the ring. She is on cloud nine. She's somewhere else right now. This is a very tough single round. What do we got left for time? What do we have left for time here? Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Action wow. packed first round. You bring up an interesting point when we're only fighting three. Yeah, it's time to just put the foot right on the gas, right out of the gate. Absolutely. <clears throat> that range from Capero is tough for Nong Rose to deal with here. Thing is, is when he sees it, he goes after it. I saw no hesitation So in round one. When he saw the opening, he took it, and he went for it and went for it. Never wild, always in control, but I did respect the fact that when he saw it, he took it. Sure, and this is a real fight. When you're matchmaking these things, you know, you're not putting on a fucking, this isn't a joke. She's a real competitor. Oh, no, she's and Andrew, fine. Andrew was clearly game when we first started talking to him about taking this fight, so. There was that left hand. Then his prize in round one, does it again right on the button, and she's out of it. And there he is again, relentless. Never, never give, uh, gives her a second to breathe. Measuring and connecting. Wow. Yeah, he followed up several shots to the body with yep. those lefts to the face. He's having a good amount of success with that. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go, round two of three. Hey. Rose needs to pick it up here for sure. She cannot be on the back foot and she has to stay busy as well. Get some respect from Caporo. Yeah, she's not talking. She's honestly not talking in the head that much. Good check there from Rose. Her corner instructions yelled out. Again, that inside leg kick from Caporo is beautiful. Good teep there defensively from Rose. God, that left hand from Caporo is deadly. There it is. Wow. Rose now walking him down, knowing she needs to get some points here. Whoa. Now we got to fight on our hands. Oh. Ball down the middle to Caparo. Dome. Ooh, swing and a miss. Crowd is on their feet. Groin strikes get complicated in this type of fight. Oh, there's that left. To the body again. Up top. Doubles up on that left. Nong Rose now throwing those elbows that she's known for. Yeah, showing a good commitment this round to try and get inside. Get inside the reach of Capero. He rocked her with that right hand, though. He did. Both fighters land in that exchange. Nong Rose probably caught the worst of it. To the body again. Doubling up. Oh, no. Nong Rose in a world of hurt. Might be close to a standing eight here. She's in trouble. Oran clearly debating it. How much more can she take? Hands heavy. Oh, no. Oh, left over the top gets through. She might not get up, Luke Welling. She might not get up. Peter Denman in her corner. Concern on Denman's face. And they call it. Fair enough, fair enough. Hell of a showing. That's what freedom looks like, everybody.
Fantastic great, win. great win for the American Andrew Caporo. He looked, he looked just great. Yeah, it was great. And Nong was showing, uh, you know, real signs of life in that second round. She was clearly trying to get inside enough to land some elbows, maybe create some gashes, get some blood flowing. But Caporo, the reach, the accuracy, too much for Nong Rose and, today. And the pressure too, like we did talk about how traditional Thai fighters feel each other out. Caporo steps in, acts like it's a money round, and really, she was under back for the entire time. Yeah, there's a chance that was surprising to her. Ladies and gentlemen, illusions, please, a round of applause for both of these epic warriors. And after two minutes and 12 seconds of round number two, your winner via technical knockout, JCVD Andrew Caporo. I just want to keep laughing for Nong Rose. If she's not your hero, if she's not your hero, you're an idiot. Oh, we got a little smoochy. I missed the smooch. <laughs> so sweet of Nong Rose, so sweet. As these gentlemen come into the ring, I'm gonna stand up here and say, we've got one more main event coming up. And it is me versus MMA Symmetrical Champions, Bank and No Money. We'll be back in just a moment. I need to wrap my other hand. Word is that Bank and No Money asked for a raise and John Nutt literally hissed at them like a pregnant cat. John has giant nuts. You know, John Nutt, he's the man behind Fight Circus and is the global leader in circus fight shit shows. You know, he's fighting against two small Asian breakdancers. They may be small, but the Wuhan clan dragon people are spicy. We got a two-on-one. Actually, it's John Nutt, CEO of FMD, getting the shit kicked out of himself by two fighters. But he's a big guy and no stranger to the hexagon. We don't know what's gonna happen. John Nutt, promoter, fighter, sexy beast all around, is gonna take on bank and no money in a modified rules Muay Thai fight three 90 second rounds. Bank and no money, three and one in MMA symmetrical fights. John's in danger. Bank and No Money have a ton of experience doing two versus one. Just go ask the Kebab King himself, Ali, or Will Chope. This John Nutt doesn't just do cocaine. He does all the cocaine, like major party foul buddy, Lee Sunfer, Hunter Biden. Who else is gonna do this? Dana White, are you gonna step up? Two versus one, let's go. In this MMA symmetrical bout, there are no rules except for the ones that were given to the fighters in the rules meeting before the fight. If John Nutt wants to win this one, he's gonna have to snort a line of Shrekja and grab Destiny by the pussy. Bob is shredded these days. <laughs> Circus favorite legend, undefeated. We say they're undefeated. We know. Will Chope was trying to murder them. That's not. That's not fighting. That's not MMA symmetrical. That's dirty, dirty. Uh, so they're still undefeated. Yes. Again, I believe one. I believe Bank on the right here is a model. No money is a breakdancer. 
Yes. No money is really the foundation of their success. shirt in or out i don't know he's got a vest on i got it's one sock tie, one sock oh my god talk a man how about a man who can do it all <laughs> the crowd john nuts favor they all want to see johnny take it in the blue corner What the? He's ready for it. He's ready to bust a nut. John bust a nut. This is so stupid. I love it. Everyone, so needs, everyone needs a brony. Like oh, the guy with Bob. Like, true. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> wow. Here we go, main event. Thanks for sticking around with us. It was crazy at the beginning. But now we are here at the main event. <laughs> Fight Circus 4, the Royals, Guns, and Money, in the red corner, John Nutt, in the blue corner, Bank, and No Money. Asymmetrical, let's go! <laughs> oh wow, Bank and No Money, it's a scrap, it's a scrap! Oh, soccer kick Oh my John god, Nutt. John Nutt, John Nutt's going ape shit! They're trying to take him down! Unreal! I don't think Hammer fist on John Nutt. Oh my god, he's getting out of it, folks. Oh, oh he he taps. rear naked. John Nutt taps. Rear naked choke, John Nutt taps. No money hanging on to that choke for a while. A Even little. after the tap. Who does that to their boss? His heart is going to explode. Honestly. John, 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 John. And balls, ladies and gentlemen. Heart and balls. Oh. They're going 
going another one. Encore, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen this before in the MMA symmetrical fights. It gets a little complicated. Every now and then we run it right back. Immediate rematch clause. It's in there. They, ne they never read it, but it's in there. May or may not know. We here at Fight Circus. We take weigh-ins oh, very yes. fucking seriously. And these dickheads miss weight. <laughs> Listen, in their contract, because they miss weight, there's an immediate rematch. So, round number two. Are you guys ready? Wow. Run it back! It's mayhem! Oh. It's insane! Oh so I'm not going God. everywhere! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Unbelievable! Oh wow! Unbelievable! I think that's gonna do it for the king, the legend, the CEO, the MC, the singer songwriter, the MMA symmetrical warrior, John Nutt. I've never seen anything like this, Teddy, ever. There is no better a showman in this galaxy. This is the kind of freedom. This is freedom again, Teddy. Freedom you only get in Thailand. And if you know John Nutt. How about that, Teddy? Wow. <laughs> John Nutt, the craziest fucking ringmaster in the business. There's, oh. There's some of the mayhem there. John Nutt to the ground, covers right up. Bank and no money swarming him. Wow, what a main event. Fight Circus 4 in the books. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Hey, my team. My team all come in here. My team, get in the fucking ring. Get in the ring. We're still on? For myself and all of the uh, Fight Circus team from Phuket, thank you guys for joining.